Generic greetings, and welcome back to Prison Architect once again. In the previous episode, we went through and did a final pass on a lot of the prison rooms, so visitation kitchen, canteen, things like that, and made sure that they were fit for prison habitation, made sure that the prisoners weren't just going to turn up and then kick the crap out of absolutely everything, which actually could still happen, but it shouldn't because of the things we have. But either way, speaking of prisoners, as you can see, our prisoner bus is about to arrive in the next 10 seconds. 18 prisoners, it is a, I believe, a medium risk intake, it's a med sec intake, we do have max sec, which you know what, I'm just going to max it out, we might as well receive some max sec because hey ho, well, it gives us more money because as you can see in terms of cash we are not exactly short, we've got 48,000 but we are losing 4,000 a day so it's important that we do get this other cell block done sooner rather than later because obviously then we'll get more money and then you know more prisoners and yeah try to get that deficit off here. Also we've got a couple of grants on the go, we've got the reform through education initiative which we will not be doing ever because I don't think anyone's ever completed it in the history of the game. We've got the max sec infrastructure, which is close to being done, so we should be able to get that done sooner rather than later. So let's just crack on. Staff uh, guards, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That gets the first bit done. We need to unlock body armor through bureaucracy tasers and then some CCTV monitors as well. That is the wrong button. We need to unlock uh, surveillance. We've got tasers, body armor's on the go, and obviously guard towers are on the go as well, which is something we need to put in sooner rather than later once again because that's the whole point in this prison. Anyway, as you can see, a lot of people are coming out of the bus and uh, getting placed here. There's a couple of faces in the game. We've got uh, Jay Barker. We've got uh, Brendan Hannah. See. And we've also got a gang member. There we go. There is our first gang member. Let's have a quick look in our intelligence and then gangs. We can see we have one blue gang member. This is Paul Langdon, prisoner number 140265. 15 years uh, for multiple crimes, including grievous bodily harm and grievous bodily harm. So two counts of. And that is their. They don't have any reputation. They just, they just have a trait of being in a gang, which is. A thing, so we'll get them in, we'll search them, and then we'll see what happens. Obviously, we do have some patrols to sort out as well, so I'm going to do that. Let me just go over to our deployment and then guard patrols. Actually, no, what I'm going to do first is go to staff and then to cooks because, as people rightly pointed out in the comments, I don't have enough of them, so I've uh, sorted that problem. Let's just go a quick build clone, and what we'll do is we will clicky clicky, draggy draggy, and just make sure that all that is placed. There we go. Um, that'll be our shower put in. I am going to, mm, I need to force these doors open, but I'm not going to force them open this manual way. What I'll do instead is go over to probably deployment and then unlock and unlock both of these doors that way. It means that if I want to close them off quite quickly, I just put them to shared and then you can see the doors will actually close. Job done. Right. So, they're going to finish off that shower and then we'll put this big row in here. While they're doing that, let me just go back over to deployment and staff only and just make sure that this outside wall is staff only, which it is. We need to make sure that we have the right thing set to staff only, which looks like it's about right. Uh, we'll go over to our guard patrols and then we're going to set a guard patrol along here. So, obviously, this patrol route will be uh, fairly similar, or pretty, well, pff, not even fairly similar, it's going to be identical to the one on the other side. Now, I found it best to do it like this, right? And um, you go straight over the top, and if there's something planned, can you see the colours slightly different? It's very subtle, but it is there. So we've got two guards either side, then we've got a dog patrol, and then we've also got an arm patrol as well. So, there we go, and then I can see... Um Actually, I can't. Well, what I was going to say is we can then see from the top and bottom, but we can't. You can't see into these cells for some reason, even though these jail doors are here. You have to be right up against it, which I think is um, strange, but it is what it is. Anyway... Over to utilities. Obviously, we're going to have to run utilities right along here, so I'm going to uh, run them like so. The problem I have at the moment is I actually can't get access to this area, so what I'll do is I will go over to our objects and then jail door, and then make sure that we have a jail door in here and here, and then I will put a central spine down the middle, because obviously then we're going to put in the cells. We'll use the clone tool, but the problem with the clone tool is it doesn't clone the stuff underneath the ground as far as I'm aware, so... Yeah, we'll have to just do that manually. Current danger level is actually low and decreasing. Staff morale is high, so that's something that's decreasing it as well. That's quite good. And a lot of prisoners are saying they've been unnecessarily searched. Well, that's their opinion. So, we've also got our needs to look at when it comes to staff. Uh, there's a lot of warmth need here, which is interesting. A lot of critical warmth need as well, which I don't know why that is the case. Let's just go over to intelligence. And, oh, it's not intelligence. It'll be in logistics now. Temperature. You can see temperature is very nice and warm around here. That's all fine. The kitchen will warm up as the day goes on and they fire up the stoves. Uh, and this area is actually fine. Look at that. All the radiators are giving it a nice 20 degree temperature. Shower is currently freezing cold but when the hot water is used on here, um, it will actually 
warm it up so that's that you don't need a radiator in there that's fine we could if we want to however put one in we'll put a radiator right in the center like so and then that means uh, actually we'll put it side on because it looks a bit better uh we'll put it what does it i don't know you know what i don't think it really matters um <laughs> But let's put one of them in like that. We'll put it sideways on. And that'll uh, heat that room up in general. So probably quite useful to do that. Uh, this was always a point of contention. I knew this water boiler was always going to be a bit dodgy. But uh, most people from the last episode seem to be okay with its, uh, with its location. I think the majority of people said putting it into an empty cell would be a nice compromise rather than on the con here or in the shower because it would overheat it. But uh, where it is now, this water boiler, I think it's working out fine. I don't think there's any problem with that. So uh, that's good. I just forced uh, these doors to be built quicker rather than um, rather than them do this bit just because they can't have access to this so there's going to be a lot of staff that have problems because you can see it's all blocked and such so we just need to make sure that we've uh, got this sorted. So anyway, you can see we are trying to unlock body armor. I'm just going to speed up to max speed here because there's no reason to keep it low. Unlocking body armor uh, and um, tasers as well, and we will also have sniper towers, I believe. Now, if we go over to their guard tower, yeah, but you can see it's uh, three grand. So I'm not going to place all of these. I do need to get this other cell block done before we move on. Uh, I just need to go over to uh, the deployment and then unlocks, and then we'll just make sure that's unlocked as well. Obviously, utilities as well, and then we'll run some water cable and some piping. However, I think the best way of doing it first is to place the cells in, and then I know where the pipe's going to go. I mean, I know where it's going to go, but it's just going to be a little bit more difficult for me to work out if I don't do the cell. But what I'm going to do for the cell is I'm going to do that. Ah, actually, no, I can't do that. I can't do that because these cells are mirrored. What I'm going to have to do is build these cells again on this side and then pretty much copy it over. So I'm just looking at the design um, on the other side on this side here and then mirroring it over which should be that so the door is to the left and this obviously is mirrored so the door is to the right we then have the radiator next to it which is the case and then straight ahead you've got the bed and then you've got the toilet as well so yeah that should be correct for our cells that should be okay but um, they need to have access to this door because this is currently not a cell the uh, the rooms won't be open automatically so we will designate that as a cell like so and that should then uh, make the door open and close when it needs to that brick wall failed four times do you know what's happened i reckon there's someone trapped in here <laughs> demolish walls okay let's just see what happens let's just demolish both of these walls and we're gonna see if someone is actually trapped inside here um well, it didn't say there were. Oh, did someone come out there? I don't know. I, I, I don't know if they that was someone coming out there. But either way, we've sorted the uh, the problem out. Is now fixed. So we've got two cells. Obviously, they are not uh, they're not meeting the requirements. But we will get to that. We'll go over to the clone tool, and we will clone this. Now, I have to be careful here to make sure I get it in the right place. Yeah, that looks fine to me. As long as it all fits in, which it does. Yep, that's about right. That's fine. Okay, and we've got eight grand left. So it's important that I pretty much stop what I'm doing and make sure we can get this MaxSec infrastructure grant done. So MaxSec infrastructure will require a CCTV monitor, which I will place here, and then CCTV um, cameras. So where am I going to place the cameras? Well, we haven't got anything in visitation, so I think it's important that we get uh, visitation sorted. So we have uh, some nice viewport in there. I will actually put a guard in there. Uh, we haven't got one in here, so we'll place one in the common room. Laundry's the same. Uh, in here, whatever room that's going to be. And then finally, we'll have one in here and here for, again, whatever those rooms are. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be enough. Uh, in fact, as you can see, um, it well, it will be enough. Yeah, that'll be sorted. So that's uh, give us that grand, or rather, it will give us that grand. We will put in the electrical cable like so, and then that should uh, have that all powered up, and we should be about right. Now, I have a bit of an issue here because once we unlock tasers through bureaucracy, we'll have to do the guard certification for tasers which we don't have a classroom we also don't have a chapel so if we go over to the chapel here i think i don't know where i'm going to put it it's going to be there or there um or it could be here fairly big chapel is always important i think and then a shop which i will put next to the chapel 
it can't go in here because we need a, a window, so I'm going to put it there. And then, well, we could put it this side if we really wanted to, but no, I think we'll have this as something else. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to put on that side. I haven't yet got a solitary area. I haven't also got an area for a... There's one of the grants done? Oh, there, there is the... What grant was that? That was the... Uh, Maxsec infrastructure, I believe. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. We got that done. Excellent. So we can go for prison manufacturing facility, or we can wait for a couple of more prisoners, and then we can get things like the crackdown on drugs and tool cleanup, which I think I'll do, because I think it's uh, worth it. 25, it says here, um, prisoners um, can be housed. However, that's only accurate as of right now, because this obviously is under construction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to intake, I'm going to uh, say total prisoners, and I'm going to say... Give me 36. Is that math right? Two 18s. Uh, and that'll give us enough prisoners to go in here. And we will have max sec. Why not? Um, because that should be this and this when it's both completed. So we'll get the money today, knowing that we'll actually complete the rest of this by the end of the day. That's the plan. Whether or not it works or not is really up for debate. And f we've also got straight away someone die. Um, yep, someone is dead. My fault here, because I didn't check when they came in, that's J. Jimmy Barker. Um, it's a snitch. Was a snitch. I also had drugs on him. Um, I didn't check the traits when they turned up. Snitch and ex-law enforcement. Okay, let's have a quick look then at informants and... Yeah. Yeah, we, we didn't... I didn't check that. It is a poss It's a possibility that I wouldn't have found that anywhere. Um, you know, maybe, maybe I would have spotted it, but a lot of the times the things that are the snitching, so the snitching things that are, are are hidden. Uh, but there he is. Look, there, there he goes. He's off. Um. Yep. First casualty of the prison. Yeah, a lot of the times the, the those sort of traits are hidden, and you can never, you, you don't see them. So, I don't know. It would have been best, you know, if I actually did check in the first place, but an oversight on my part. That is obviously cost a man his life. Possibly. Um, but that does get us onto the the discussion of um, solitary confinement. We don't have it. Um, I was going to put it in here, and then several people said, you know what? You don't need it. You just don't need it. And the reason for that is you just lock them up in their cells permanently. It's not actually a terrible idea. We've got the sniper towers, or we will have. We've got guard patrols. We've got all this sort of stuff. It's actually going to be a quite safe environment for them, I believe. So that's what we will do. So yes, good call. Um, okay, so we need to put in the... Electrical cables. Like so. And water pipes. Again, very similar to... Very similar to the other side. So similar, in fact, it's identical. And then, finally, hot water pipe as well. Which we know is going to be that. Because A, we've done it before on the other side. B, some of it's already built. And C, it's not related, but I'm going to have a sip of beverage. Hmm. Today's beverage is coffee black, no sugar. Because that's just the way to have it. If you like that sort of thing. Anyway, more prisoners, as you can see. Uh, no gang members. As... No, I don't think so. There's one. We've got one gang member. Extremely strong, tough gang member. Alex Williams, prison number 159010. I hope he's not going to be a hard case. And informants. Oh, there's a gang member as well. So we've got, we've got more than one gang member. So what have we got? We have a total of one red gang member, two green, and one blue. Not here, you understand, but we do have them. Hmm. Okay. Some of them are in the prison. No members, uh, no leaders or lieutenants yet, so they're not going to be doing anything. But it's important that we... Uh, no, we understand we have them. So I'm just going to say, back to filter capacity, uh, it's up to 36, so yeah, we're okay there, that's fine. 
didn't mess that up. Uh, we have Crackdown on Drugs, which we will get, and we'll also go for probably the Inmate Nutritional Research sooner rather than later. Um, the Inmate Nutritional Research is something that you don't necessarily have to do. It's something that uh, is... Well, I mean, all the grants are something you don't have to do, but it's something that uh, a lot of people say you should probably avoid because it's uh, quite dangerous, especially the first part of it, which is serve a single low-quantity, low-variety meal. Well, that guy just kicked off because he's volatile and then got his head stoved in by several guards with a bat on. Uh, obviously, we don't have any solitary confinement, so I don't know where he's going to go. Well, he's first he's going to be ex escorted to the infirmary. I and mean, actually, what I'm going to do, and a lot of people said this, is make the infirmary staff only. Um, and it makes it, people then have to be escorted around it. The only problem with that is sometimes the psychologist uh, can't be accessed from this way. But we're going to see how it goes. What I'm going to do is have a guard uh, assigned to the infirmary and also go for guard patrols and we'll set up a guard patrol around here because I haven't done it yet. There we are. And also, while we're on, we do need to go to connect wires. We're going to say that there and we'll connect up one, two, three, four, five, six. That's all of our CCTV done as well. And then we do have some nice line of sight. Danger level is going right up and I don't like that so let's just pause it and have a quick look at the needs. There's a big warmth need and there's some other stuff as well. So basically the prisoners that have just turned up are really really pissed off that it's cold because to be fair it is three degrees and they are in uh, an unheated cells so it is something that uh, we do need to fix and I will prioritize all of that because it is important that we get that done. And there's some more fighting. That's someone trying to escape again I believe. I think they tried to do a blitz out here. I knew this was going to be maybe a a bit of an issue when it comes to people running out that got that being open and this being open but I didn't realize there's gonna be that many people try to do it but uh, you know we'll keep an eye on it we might have to get rid of this door and just brick it off to be quite honest with you it'll probably be the safest bet because um, this is this is a very very big weak spot also we probably need to put a road gate on and a couple of other things as well so uh, yeah let's do that uh, actually, no, I'm not going to put a road gate on because it's going to be a nightmare for the trucks to come across. Uh, we should be okay for now. What I'll do is I'll just get a guard deployed in there, just guarding this entrance where it also means that the gates can be opened up by him as well, so that's fine. So it's currently eight time. As you can see, people are going around staring at the wall, apparently. Probably betting on two spiders crawling up it, which is going to reach the top first, but... It's still free time. Once it hits 12, they're going to go to sleep, and then I'm going to do a shakedown because A, I've got the crackdown on drugs um, grant, which means if we find these things, we'll actually get a nice bonus of uh, 15 grand. But also, <laughs> excuse me, that hiccup came out of nowhere. Also, <laughs> we, uh, we want to make sure that there's no tunnels. So we'll see if we can uh, find them. We do have a... Uh, I believe it was a 50% chance of uncovering the tunnels. Guard dogs, 50% chance of fully uncovering tunnels they detect. So if the dog if the dog detects a tunnel, remember it has to detect it first, 50% chance of it just going boom and then ripping it up anyway and you'll find um, the tunnel, which is good. There's actually more um, wardens in the... In the... I think it's a PS... PS whatever 3 4 version i don't actually know which i assume it's ps4 only not ps3 but the ps and uh, xbox version i believe there's some more wardens and uh, not on pc which is a shame uh, they, they did answer that question actually in the uh, last update video they said they they see the pc version and the console versions as really separate products which they are but they they don't have parity so like you know one can have things over the other so the um the console version has like a um I think it's like a like a, a psych ward type thing where it's like a minimum security hospital essentially um, for um, personality disorders and things like that, uh, which this this version doesn't. Uh, you can see they're all in the shower look and they're not getting showered because there's no water to it, which is uh, interesting. I thought we did plummet in. That's why I don't know why. Anyway, yeah, so that's... Just thought I'd clarify that. Um, there's that grant completed. That was pretty good. That was very important that we got that done. Um, we're still on minus 1,500, uh, uh, but it's not that much of a problem. We're going to go for the inmate nutritional research, and we are, for our sins, going to have a low quantity, low variety meal, and we're going to serve that over the course of... Hang on. Um, what am I looking for? Regime. Uh, 
and we'll serve that over the course of uh, one day. Now I'm not, I'm going to, sorry, over the course of two days, I'm going to take off this one here so they're going to eat now. Now there is actually, you can glitch this out a bit and it's a bit of a cheesy way of doing it, but I'll explain it. I'm not going to do it, I'll explain it. So it says, uh, serve a single low quantity, low variety meal for two days, okay? We had two in here at medium variety and quantity. Now I changed it to low and low and then have the eat time here. However, if you have, say, a massive meal, so high variety, high quantity here, right, so they get their fill, and then take it off here, it, it starts, and then put it back to what it says, low and low, it then starts counting up from this point onwards, so you essentially get half a day where they're completely stuffed anyway, and won't want to eat, and they'll happily wait until next morning, and then they'll be topped up by the low quantity one, and then it's job done. Uh, just a little quirk uh, from playing it for so long, you could, yeah, that's actually how it's, uh, that's how something, it's one of the things you can do. Uh, in terms of snipers, we haven't got any, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then five, because we do need one spare. Um, and they will go to these sniper towers, and obviously that's going to be our main, uh, main deterrent, really. But, uh, I'm very happy that's working as well. Look, see this? I put this um, strip of drains in, and it's making it so that the shower... Uh, it's the water's not passing here, which is really, really good. I like that. Um, in terms of our prison labour, we do need to assign people to laundry out of the shop. Although obviously people are not going to work in the shop because it's not finished, but we'll finish that next episode. Um, and staff, we have one gardener, two janitors. It's probably enough. I don't know if I'm going to have any. I don't know if I'm going to have any. Uh, any cleaning cupboard, I haven't decided yet. But, I think we will leave it there. Not a bad episode, I don't think. Not a bad episode at all. We've got 36 prisoners. We have had, you know, a little bit of the old ultraviolence, and someone did pay the ultimate price for that, and that's also... Oh, so I was going to say that someone's run out. No, it's actually released. Hang on. Gabe Newell. Uh, killer HL3. <laughs> Not released new games, and Rob plays... With daughter two, sentenced to one year for driving under the influence. I think someone's a bit uh, butthurt about that, isn't it? <laughs> Whoever's put that. <laughs> or maybe it's uh, a developer thing that put that there. Yeah, Valve. We used to make games, and now we make money. Anyway, as always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Next episode, uh, finish the chapel, finish the shop, and just crack on in general. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.